up guys? As many of you may have guessed, we are going to be giving away my 2020 Ford Mustang GT. This is a hard one for me because I've absolutely fallen in love with this car. Sweepstakes is live right now. Every dollar you spend on our site on merchandise or car parts is one entry to win this awesome brand new Mustang. If you're a VIP member, for every dollar you spend, it's five entries to win this thing. I hope you guys are excited about this. I am. Enjoy the video. Get those entries in. All right, well, it's an exciting day here at the shop. I got Ricky again with me here today, which is awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and knock out a few more installs on our Mustang GT. We got a haul of Mishimoto parts, and uh, let's open them up. Ricky and I will go through and show you guys what we got. We also got our replacement fenders from Anderson Composites. This time around, we actually got full carbon and uh, full carbon inserts on the side, which if you guys remember before, they were black. I think this is gonna look a lot cooler. I think we ended up making a mistake, but it ended up being a good mistake. Let's get into these Mishimoto parts, eh, Ricky? Mishimoto! Our oh. intake manifold. <laughs> this is our big boy radiator. That's a big one. Dude. Yeah, it's nice. Bro, looks these like, is dope. Yeah, it's a nice drain too, huh? Look at these mounts, these are buff. This is one thing that I wanted to add to this car. The factory overflow reservoir is actually really terrible looking plastic. Aluminum expansion tank replacement and it's blacked out. It has a meter on the side so you can keep track of what your overflow looks like. Oil cooler kit, so that will help us keep temps down uh, whether we're on the freeway or at the racetrack. So I went with black on this. A lot of guys I noticed go with the silver cooler. You have an option to go black or silver. Um, the silver one shows through the, the front grill. So this goes up behind the running horse. And we got a thermostatic sandwich plate in here. This waits till the um, oil is up to temperature. So your engine gets up to temperature before it starts cycling oil through the cooler, which is nice. This oil cooler is actually visible through the front grill, the upper grill where the horse is. So we're gonna go ahead and toss a little stencil on here, throw the throttle logo on here. So it kinda, you can see it kinda through the grill, but it's not right in your face. I think it's a nice touch. saw in a previous video we do have Ford Performance uh, sway bars for this car this is the front bar and this thing is absolutely massive but one thing we found out when uh, Ricky pulled the radiator and fan shroud out is that the sway bar actually runs right in behind it we weren't planning to do this just yet because we have a lot of other suspension bits that we're gonna put on the car but because this clears the weight of the sway bar uh, mounts I think we're gonna go ahead and throw this in now to save us from having to do this job twice All right, we got the, the base model Mustang GT front sway bar out. It's pretty easy, three of the bolts were pretty easy to get to. One of the bolts is a little buried, but we were able to get that out with our gear wrench, um, box wrench, the back one on the driver's side. And you're able to undo the, the sway bar end links and just feed it out through the passenger side. It was a lot easier than I actually thought it was gonna be. Uh, but you can see the difference in sway bar size. This looks like it's a 32 millimeter sway bar. I don't know how big this one is, but it's quite a bit larger. And what's nice is it has adjustability. It's got two locations for the sway bar end link. 
on the end so we can sniff it up a little bit if we need to or loosen it up. We have our Steeda sway bar end links front and rear. These are the fronts. Uh, what's nice is these are serviceable. We've got um, Zerk fittings on the end so we can grease these if we need to. It's a much more stout piece and it looks a lot better too. Uh, we're gonna throw these Steeda joints on here in a second once we feed this Ford Performance bar in. So these are the original oil cooler for the Mustang and we have a new one, an adapter that's gonna go from here to the oil cooler system for the Mishimoto. And the way you take it out, you put an Allen key in there and that's not it, just like that. You loosen this up and this whole uh, system just comes right out. Part, really nice part. I wait to tighten that down until we figure out which direction our uh, oil cooler lines are going. I'm assuming they're going to go this way, but. Ricky and I have removed the electric louvers. So these open and close as the car needs cold air to pass over the radiator and the condenser. We have to remove this in order to make room for the oil cooler. We're not far enough along in the process to know whether this goes back in or not yet, but my guess is it probably does not, which is kind of a shame because this is a really nice part. Okay, while we're in here, the Mishimoto oil cooler kit calls for us to take this bumper beam off. While we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and find our center line and get our Ford Performance tow hook mounted on here. This requires some measuring and some drilling and some long bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and do that while this is off. Kill two birds with one stone. So one nice thing about this uh, oil cooler is that they plan for people that actually have boost and intercoolers to be able to move this front and front and back so you can squeeze an intercooler in behind it. Uh, we're gonna run it all the way forward just so it gets the most amount of airflow and uh, maybe we're gonna be adding an intercooler behind it. I don't know.
Oh. <laughs> Probably gonna need two of these. you enjoyed today's video hope you enjoyed our little burnout at the beginning it was super fun to do we've got a lot more content coming for the car we've got a whole day worth of Steeda products installed still for the handling portions of the car the cooling system is done now which is awesome and seems to be working just great and I know a lot of you guys were interested to know how the short shifter worked out and I've actually since driven the car since we installed it and I love the way it feels it's not too short it's not a full race shifter I know a lot of you guys made comments about I should have went with this one or that one which are full billet replacement pieces I didn't want this to be a clunky really super short throw uh, car so the Ford performance shifter actually accomplishes both those things it shortens the shift gives it a much more direct feel without being too extreme so I'm really happy with it it's gonna make for a perfect daily drivable car uh, without that super notchy feel that I don't really care for. So hope that explains a little bit with why we went with what we went with. Uh, huge shout out to Mishimoto. The products went in perfectly without a hassle, so that was awesome. We were able to get this done in a fairly quick order, and uh, it's definitely a huge upgrade for the car. So thank you guys for tuning in today. We'll see you guys in the next one. Get entered to win this Mustang. You're not going to want to miss out. Guys. What's up, dude? Looks oh. good, actually, man. All right, let's go over and see what's going on. Alviapora is looking great. We've got a grafted Montipora. It's looking pretty well. Our Hulk torch is doing awesome. Fuzzy Rhodactus in the back look good. GSP is going out of hand, encroaching on the Fungia. We'll have to move that. Hammers look good. That's a Cristata torch from Tonga. It's hard to tell on the camera, but it should be more gold and green. Bubble and Enemy looks awesome. Kryptonite candy canes look good. The Poker Star is going out of control and You've got the Digitata on the back wall. Growing. Bubble Coral looks amazing. Dude, this guy, I think this is our first Huge. Coral. It was like the size of that one head there when we originally got it, and now it's got two, and that one's massive. The Alviapora here, which is crazy, that little piece broke off that, and it's we doing super well. About so, everything looking good. Just did a water change, so it's a little cloudy. <laughs>